This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. This is question number 13. What is 342 rounded to the nearest 10? So, when I was in school, we had like a little saying about this sort of thing. Circle the number is the first thing that we did. So I need to find the nearest tens, so I need to go to the tens place. Ones place, tens place. So I'm going to circle this number. Circle the number, look right. Next door. Five or more rays. The score. That was the little thing we used to say. Circle the number, look right next door, five or more, raise the score. So the thing about rounding is there are only a small number of values that you have to worry about. The first thing you need to do is find the number you're going to determine whether you round or you want to round. So when I go to the nearest 10, I circle that four. Anything to the left of this, like this three, anything over here, that just stays. It's not going to change. Anything to the right of it will become zero because that's the way that we end up rounding. We're not trying to keep any digits after the one that we're focused on. So it'll just become zeros and they fill them in. If I was rounding this number to the thousands place, I would go to the thousands place and circle it. I can tell you ahead of time that this one is going to stay the same. And these three numbers are going to become zero, and my only concern will be this six. Well, let's get back to the one that we're actually working on. In this situation, in order to determine whether I'm going to what I'm going to do with this four, I need to look to the numbers that are going to sort of either push it to become better or say, no, nah, we're good, let's just hang out. And that number is the one to the right of it. So in this situation, the right of tens is the ones place. So the two helps me make the decision. That's what I need to focus on. If the number to the right is five or more, you want to raise that value up by one. If the number to the right is four or less, that number is going to stay the same. In this question, 342, if I'm rounding to the tens place, the 4 is either going to become a 5 or it's going to stay a 4. It will never drop down to a 3. So anything with 330 is not going to be one of the answers that you could choose from. It might be a choice, but it's not one that you're going to fall for because you're better than that. So it's either going to stay where it is. We're good. We have plenty of room down here. Or it's going to raise up. So the Four to determine what it's going to do. I'm going to look at the two. It's not five or more, so it has plenty of space to hang out in that position. Doesn't need the four to do anything. It's fine for just stay like you are. So my new value, remember the three stays the same. The last number becomes a zero or any numbers after. And then the four just gets to hang out. So my answer to number 13 is B. So that's how that goes. In that one that I was showing you before, the one about thousands or whatnot. See if I can, I wonder if I can get it all the way back to it. That would be convenient, other than having to click the buttons 10,000 times. There's that number. Okay, so 16, 702. And by the way, just as a reminder, you might want to write the letter there so you can see it. So in this case, Circle the number, look right next door, so I'm going to look right here, five or more, raise the score. Seven is more than five, right? It means they're running out of space down in, in this case, the hundreds place. So I'm going to need to bump that thing up in the thousands place to give myself more room. If it's four or less, I have plenty of room I can hang out. If it's too squished down there, I'm going to start to pressure the number above me to add something to itself. So in this case, raise the score means from six to seven and everything to the right just becomes zero. So that's that one. Again, it doesn't go down. It's either the same or it goes up. If the number to the right is five or more, you go up. Otherwise, 
keep it the same as it is and don't change it. Anything to the left of it would stay the same. Anything to the right becomes a zero. So again, the answer to number 13 is B.